All right, hello, this is Coach Kevin with Action Coach Lake Houston. And we're here for another small business spotlight interview. And today I have with me Josephine Davidson. And Josephine, thank you for joining us today. And we're looking forward to learning more about your business and the services that you provide to the uh, local community. So Josephine, tell us a little bit more about your business. Well, my business, I've uh, started in 2014. And at that time, I serviced physicians, chiropractors, and dentists in the Austin Round Rock area. And now that I'm back in Houston, I am wanting to do the same for physicians that are in Kingwood and, you know, uh, Humble area, because we provide a variety of services from credentialing to doing their all their billing and uh, collections. We also offer um, team building. And we also offer um, personnel training if they need it on, you know, how to verify insurance or just, you know, giving their front office staff a script on how to properly collect the money when patients come in. I see. I see. Okay. So you do more than just provide the service. You also can provide training so they can become self-sufficient. Exactly. Because ultimately that's, that's our goal. Okay. Perfect. That's great. That's great. Good. Well, um, so in terms of uh, your target market, who would you describe as your perfect, perfect client or perfect customer? Our, right now, our perfect client are nurse practitioners and licensed professional counselors. Reason being, they're fresh, they're just starting, and we're able to help them from setting up the business to being able to, to get their revenue flowing and their practice built. So right now, those are the perfect clients. Gotcha, gotcha. And you started in 2014. So you've been, you've been in business about six years now. And I know with COVID hitting, it was kind of a kick in the teeth for all of us as business owners and something that we never uh, had to deal with in the past. How, how or, or what was the greatest impact to, to your business uh, from COVID-19? The greatest impact to our business was the fact that physicians had slowed down uh, seeing patients. A lot of physicians either closed their office or went to telemedicine and telemedicine is great, but not everybody likes to have that. They miss that one-on-one. -on -one. So that was our biggest impact is that our services and our client services slowed down. And we're just now picking up where doctor's offices are opening full-time they're seeing their patients. So, you know, we got the little breath of fresh air, but it was um, touch and go for a moment. We got very anxious. We were afraid that we were going to have to let go a couple of staff members, but we were lucky enough that we had planned for something, you know, to happen once we realized that the pandemic was getting worse. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, I can imagine. I can imagine. Good. Well, you know, everyone right now, I think, has or is experiencing some level of anxiety from everything that's going on, and especially from just the general unknown and uncertainty that's out there. Um, what's one tip that you can provide the audience on how to manage these emotions during this, this time, challenging time? What I can recommend is stay calm. Keep the lines of communication open between you and your employees because that's where the anxiety comes in because you're worried are my employees going to leave because this is happening or you know am i going to have to let an employee go so it's just sit back and look at the big picture before you jump the gun and make decisions that you know you can't come back from that's how i've been handling the anxiety i'm pulling myself back and looking at the big picture you know looking at our finances looking at our clientele you know, just looking at everything overall and seeing it's not as bad as we thought it was. Yeah, I think that's a great point. And it's tough to have that perspective when you're in it. But once you get past it and look back, I think a lot of us will be able to look back like you described and say, it wasn't quite as bad as we thought it was when we were in the moment, you know? Right. Absolutely. Great advice. Great advice. Well, one, one last question, and I've got your contact information here showing. I want to 
make sure the audience knows what's the best way to to contact you and connect with you, especially uh, if they're interested in your services. By phone, we have an 800 number on our uh, business information. And if they don't feel comfortable um, contacting us by phone, they can always email us. We have several team members that check that email on a daily basis. Perfect, perfect. Well, Josephine, thank you so much and great learning more about your business and the services you provide. Um, and really do look forward to uh, you know, seeing your business prosper as we come out of this uh, pandemic period. I call it a season. I think we're in a season and the season yes. will pass. I, I agree with you and thank you. Absolutely. And for the others in the audience, uh, if your business, uh, if you'd like to have your business highlighted through Action Coach and take part in our small business spotlight interview, contact me at Kevin Mills at actioncoach.com. Look forward to just providing some free marketing and helping you uh, broaden your reach in the local community. Bye for now.